welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, it's not going to be a meal cook. It's actually just going to be uh, going to be making some homemade bacon. I picked up a really big pork uh, belly a couple weeks back at Costco. They have some really decent pork belly. If you ever if you have a Costco membership, I recommend you grab one because um, they're actually they're pretty decent. Um, you can do a lot with it. Uh, not just make bacon, which is what we're going to do today. I'm going to make some homemade bacon. And what I've done is um, I've already cured this. It's been curing for seven days in the refrigerator. And what I did is I'll have the description below for the brine that I used. I used it off AmazingRibs.com. Um, they have a couple different brines, but I used the just a standard basic one. And what I did is I put the brine together and vacuum packed it uh, in with the pork belly and just let it sit there in the uh, brine for seven days in the pork belly in the uh, refrigerator with the pork belly so um, what I did is every couple days I went ahead and flipped it over um, just so that it would uh, distribute evenly so it's been in there for seven days and um, like I said I'm gonna go ahead now and put this on the smoker and we're going to fry some of it up when we're done. I'm not going to smoke it for too long, just probably about uh, two hours or so, as low as I can. I'm going to try to get the grill to stay at around 180 degrees at the most. So I'm not going to light a big fire. I'm just going to put one starter cube in there. And um, I'm going to actually uh, smoke it with some apple wood today. So apple wood works really well for pork and especially for bacon. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this out, get it all padded dry, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I uh, only used a half a starter cube because um, we are, since we're just going to be smoking this bacon, I don't want it to cook much at all, so we're going to have a really cool fire. Um, fire starter just went out. It's... Um, so it's got a few of those coals lit. And I'm going to go ahead and put the apple wood in kind of right, right around where the uh, coals are lit. And like I said, we're not going to uh, try to cook this bacon too much at all. We just want it to uh, smoke since uh, you know, we're going to want to cook it up later when it's bacon. But I'm going to go ahead and put my heat deflectors back in because we're going to be doing this indirect. I don't want any of that heat to get to the bacon. And what I'll probably do is put the bacon more towards the front, just, just in case. The fire was kind of started in the middle, which is okay. Um, but I just, like I said, we're not cooking it. Probably only we'll try to get this up to 180 degrees at the most. So I've got my vents down pretty tight. I'm just going to barely crack the top vent open not much at all just a little bit because the more uh, airflow you have in one of these Kamado grills the uh, more heat you get so I just got my top vent cracked open just a tiny bit and we're gonna wait for this to come up to temp I'm gonna look keep my eye on it once it hits it starts to go past 150 then I'll go ahead and throw the uh, all right, guys, got my fire going. Um, should be up to temp pretty soon. I did pull the uh, bacon out of the bag, and what I'm going to do now, I dried it off really good. Uh, sometimes people will actually let it sit in the refrigerator out of the brine, um, try to dry off for a day or so to build a, a nice uh, crust on it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and smoke it and let it let it go in the uh, smoker for a good couple hours at hopefully under 180. But what I am going to do is I am going to put a little bit more of the coarse ground pepper just on the fat part here because I like my bacon a little peppery. So I'm just going to go ahead and put another nice little coat of pepper just right on the fat section here. And that's going to, when this fat renders a little bit, it's actually going to, Go ahead and uh, seep into the fat there. It's just going to make a nice little crust on it itself. So not too much. Um, the brine was kind of sweet and a little bit of pepper in it as well. 
So that's it. I'm going to let it, uh, I'll still let it sit out here for a good 10 or 15 minutes while the, the temperature of the smoker stabilizes, but then we're going to throw it on. And I'm going to keep it on this rack like this so that the air can get all around it and the smoke can get all over it. So, all right, guys, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, the smoker's up just past 150. It's about 160 right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, it's got some smoke coming out, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the Kamado Joe, Big Joe, and I am going to leave it on that rack and also the pan because it'll give me another uh, bit of protection against the heat. Because like I said, we're not going to really cook this thing, we're just wanting the smoke to get to it. And if I see the smoker getting a little bit over that 160 or 70 mark, I'm going to go ahead and close the vents down some more. But you can see they got some good smoke coming out of that apple wood. And we're going to close this up and just leave it in there for a couple hours. And I'll come back and check on the temp a couple times just to make sure that the smoker doesn't go any higher than, I don't want it any higher than 180. So if it stays around 150, 160, that's fine with me. It's still going to get some good applewood smoke to it, and it's uh, not going to cook it. So, All right, guys, I'll see you back in a few. All right, the bacon's been on for about 45 minutes or so. Smoker's sitting right at like 180. That's getting a good little, little bit of smoke to it. I'll give you a closer up. That pepper's starting to seep into the fat a little bit. I said, we're not trying to really cook it. We're just wanting to get that smoke and develop that crust a little bit. So I'm going to let it go for another 45 minutes or so. That applewood it smells really good. I can smell it. You can see there's not a lot of fat dripping down there. So that means I'm pretty good at it not cooking. So, All right, I'm going to close this up and we'll look at it again in another 40 minutes or so. Yeah, right, guys, it's been on there almost two hours now, and it's looking pretty good. I think that's about where I want it. I think it's got plenty of smoke to it now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it off, and I'm going to bag it up just in a regular Ziploc bag, and then I'm going to uh, let it cool down in the freezer for a little bit before I slice into it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, and I will be back in about... I'm going to let it sit in the freezer for about an hour to cool down really good. So I'll see you guys back when I'm slicing it up. All right, guys, I took the bacon out of the freezer, and it's nice and cold and firmed up now. Get some nice color to it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half this way because I'm going to make small slices. I don't want real long slices of bacon. Um, I usually cut it in half when I buy it by the store anyway. So I'm just going to cut it in half this way. kind of see that and then that's how I'm going to slice it up. I'm going to slice it just like this real thin. So you make sure you use a real sharp knife and like I said it's best that you uh, do it while it's frozen or at least really really cold. Not all the way frozen I guess but and that's it. I'm going to fry a couple pieces up but um, I'm going to kind of keep it whole like this and then keep it um, a couple of these slices for dinner tonight, maybe. Maybe do some uh, bacon cheeseburgers, some good sliced bacon. But there you have it, guys. So I'm going to finish cutting this up, guys. I'll fry some up later for dinner. But, um, Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join us on Facebook and our Facebook group and our page. Uh, like this video. Follow us on Twitter and also on Instagram. And thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Boy, I wish this was smell -o vision You guys don't know what you're missing. It smells good. See you on the next video.